Hi, I'm Dr. Sanjana. In this video, we'll talk about what you need to do if you end up with a dog bite. That is, uh, if a dog has bitten you, unprovoked or scratched uh, your skin, that uh, there are some basic steps that you need to take care of, mainly to protect yourself from a very fatal disease called as rabies. So rabies is a disease which unfortunately is not treatable and it is almost always fatal. It might kill you. But the biggest good news is it is preventable. So um, there are just three main things that you need to take care of. Three main steps, three main uh, pointers following a dog bite. First thing is wound care, like immediate wound care that you can give at home uh, even before meeting your doctor. Secondly, the rabies vaccination and immunoglobulin. This is a very, very important step which should not be missed. Thirdly, monitor this dog and understand the vaccine status of this dog. So first thing coming to the wound care, you will need to wash your wound thoroughly. Wherever the dog has bitten you or scratched you, wash it thoroughly under running tap water for at least 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. This itself can bring down the chances of rabies by nearly 50 to 70%. I'll, after washing it with water, you can wash it with soap as well. And once this is done, uh, you can apply any uh, local antiseptic on this wound, mainly being bitadine, ointment or uh, alcohol or, uh, you know, the aftershave that very commonly is available at home handy. So once you've done this, definitely get in touch with your doctor to start your uh, rabies vaccine uh, immunization or the uh, schedule. So earlier there were a lot of, uh, I still think there's a lot of uh, myth about what the rabies vaccine actually uh, means. So it's not any 14 injection schedule. It's a very uh, three to five um, uh, dose or three to five injection schedule spaced across um, the first month. So this is completely dependent on the kind of uh, uh, vaccine your doctor has decided to give you and probably the status of the dog uh, in the next 10 days after the bite. The minimum number of injections you need to take would be around 3 and the maximum would be around 5 irrespective of the regimen. So it's super important that um, you go for this rabies injection, rabies vaccine injection um, as per your doctor's instructions. So depending on the kind of wound or the severity of the wound or where the dog is bitten you, the doctor will take a call whether to give you an immunoglobulin, something which we call as rabies immunoglobulin. And this needs to be administered within at least 48 hours of the bite. So my strong advice is do not delay uh, meeting your doctor uh, post a dog bite because the doctor is the right person to take a call on whether only the rabies vaccines are sufficient or you need to be given a immunoglobulin as well. So this is the part of rabies vaccination and uh, like I said, meet your doctor on the day and start the vaccine schedule and definitely complete the course. The third other important thing is understanding the dog's uh, vaccination status and monitoring this dog. So first thing uh, you need to ask if it's a pet dog, the dog, definitely the owner would be uh, aware of what if the dog has received its latest booster dose uh, for uh, rabies or if it's ever been vaccinated. Secondly, uh, you need to monitor this or uh, very closely see if this dog is behaving uh, abnormally in the next 10 days. So this minimum 10 days is uh, the duration you need to look for any signs uh, of abnormality in the dog because that itself can be a, a risk factor of uh, it's kind of explaining the risk of rabies in that dog and hence the chance of being transmitted to you. So follow these three steps. Um, without fail if you end up with a dog bite or a dog scratch and even for a cat scratch the uh, treatment or the first aid remains the same so this was uh, in short about rabies and uh, how to manage a dog bite the first aid at least thank you mm -hmm.